Uh, the idea is uh, it's a collection of contemporary architecture in the Caribbean, on the Caribbean island. Only contemporary furniture inside and it's built, it, everything is very flat, you know, small buildings, not tall buildings, you know, the maximum level it's 12 meters, nothing. So it's the difference um, between uh, building for an island and building for a big city? Yeah, because you have to respect the island. For example, build there, you have to, to think about of shadow, you have to think about of wind, you have to think about of the free, the natural circulations of air, of course. You have to think of a hurricane, you have to think of for the waves, you have to, to think. You are on the island and the weather there is different to, to respect a town. When I design a town, I design totally, completely, you know, pure, big glasses, no frames, you know, but on the island it's quite impossible. I love, that. I love the idea of what I see, and this is very much part of what I'm writing about, is the way that the, um, the whole world, or sorry, not the whole world, but aspects of the world, increasingly, in, in a way, organized according to the art world, you know, even things like the way of market, marketing, designing automobiles, you see, um, and I think this is a very interesting example that, that, you, will, that you will really we have a whole island here, you know, um, and this will be like an arch utopia. And <laughs> it is a little bit utopic, you know, <clears throat> because normally when you think they develop business in the end, you know, they develop business and they develop normally business without taste. And it was utopic many years ago to find one project like that in one island with one incredible difficult surrounding, one incredible difficult logistic one. Because if you like to build something like that in, I don't know, nearby New York, the logistics is completely different. If you think to buy architecture, architecture in, in, in one island like, like that is gay. I believe it's, uh, you have to, to be a little bit visionary and you have a reason, you know, you have to follow this our topic idea. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a history, there's a tantrica, I think. Oh, they completed the process, you know. The incredible idea, it was uh, the doctor and I, he combined together some different architects, but after that we we combine together the different attitude of this project and, and we follow the old process, you know, landscape, infrastructure, uh, buildings, uh, internal design too. We are, for example, designed before the light on the island because we like to, to show to everybody one special atmosphere, but not in a classical ethnic atmosphere, you know, we are thinking to save the real light, the natural light in the island.